situation. His hand is Hi guys. It's time for a little help. We're gonna use Family Tracker. Because we have one hour competitions going on, and I happen to be streaming today, and I think maybe the first hour will warm up. If anyone who isn't familiar with this tool, you can do this really cool thing uh, called, I think it's OCC? Or Zero CC? I don't know why we picked that. But check this out. Zero CC. Uh, it's what Jake's been using for chiptune songs, like the ones you're probably curious about. Um, and that should come back around soon, actually, with the announcement of uh, King Knight. We've got to finish up the music on that game, which means Jake is going to go chip crazy. The version of Family Tracker that I'm using is this one. Um, OCC Family Tracker. And it's a backward compatible extension. That's right. It exports and imports those CCs and authors, plugin effects and stuff, and... I guess we should just use the arpeggio effect and see what that person's talking about. How do you do that? Where do you go? So anyway, go here to download it. If you're into that type of thing. I'll see who's hanging out in chat. Um, hey, D-Power. Welcome. Um, in order to run uh, Family Tracker on... What's going on? Keika, Arcade Renegade. In order to run Family Tracker on Mac, you have to use Wine. Uh, Wine is not a uh, Windows emulator. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, and there is actually a pretty compatible version of Wine. And like if you use Wine to bottle up an EXE, basically is how that works. Um, it creates an environment for Windows executables to run. Because I believe this is just a Windows uh, program. But it is a pretty true to form uh, ch ch chip tune chipper, eight bitter. Um, it's pretty cool. It makes a lot of noises. You know, I'm into it. I recommend it. It looks like this. Um, by default, you are not going to have a senorita. As a matter of fact, you're not going to have Jack. So let's make a new project, I guess. No, I'm not going to save changes. And so you open up, it'll look maybe something like this. Howdy, Arcade Renegade. Works on Linux that way, too. Hey, absolutely. So, yeah, if you know your way around uh, wine bottling, you could be the next um, non-platform specific tracker person. Family Tracker has, uh, it, it, it emulates, uh, what's it called, this, this, this Nintendo Entertainment System sound chip. Um, we have four, five voices? I guess four voices in a sample channel. Uh, we've got pulse one, two, three, well, triangle, noise, and DPCM, which is a sample playback engine. It's pretty cool. We got key repetition. We got a lot of new things. Is there anyone super new to this? Um, that has a question immediately. I mean, what I like to open with when I start with Family Tracker is like, how do you make a stinking sound um, across your keyboard? Most of the letters, uh, this keyboard here, um, so Z through, you know, whatever, anything. Whoa, hold on. Too many steps forward there. That, that's not what I want. Delete, delete, delete. All right. Do, 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 do. In order to make a noise, you need an instrument, okay? You're going to need a new 2A03 instrument. And that's like the default module. I need a little help. This isn't the psychologist. I can really try. Narshade, you've never seen this. Uh, let me know if you're going to install it, and I will totally run it down with you. We're going to make some chip tunes today. In about an hour or so, um, I want to do a one-hour competition. So if you're on our Discord, um, this is Rivcord, by the way. I need to find our channel here. Is it here? You? Or it could be here? Bard Council, something. What were we talking? What were we talking about? This was it in general. Talking about Discord. Hey, did you know that Mint Potion went live on Twitch? Isn't that cool? Uh, so who's around? Today is the on-stream competition, team. Ad. That's absolutely right. Um, 
awfully suggestive emoticons all around. I need a little help. Tomic, you let me know. I'll hook you up with the cash money. Teamad with the $5 sub. Three months in a row. Thank you so much. That is amazing. He gets the mint option logo. <laughs> I really need to add higher tiers, but I'm not sure what those things are going to be yet. You know, these, these, these uh, emotes have come through um, our Discord thing here. I think maybe Nugget might be the highest, uh, the highest option. Cluck you. That's pretty good. Robbie Thumbs Up might be the next one, I think. Look at that guy. Look at that. It's so small. Ghost Dad. All right. So we got Discord in on this chat. We got Chad in on this chat. Grab your Hurt Devil. I'm just going to kind of run with it, because if I sit here and wait for everybody to download it, then I'm going to be late for the one-hour competition, which is going to be just after 4. Let's call it 4. Let's call it 4.15. I want to give Duggan a chance to show up and uh, show us his moves. So, uh, Captain aside, let's make a new instrument. Really the first thing you want to do. I was like, oh, why name your work? Why worry about speed and tempo? Um, we can kind of do a little overview of what all of this stuff do. For example, the number, this is your pattern kind of sequencer. I can change each of these voices instead of here. We'll go to this exact voice. If I click the far left one, it'll select that whole pattern. Um, I can add another pattern. That's, that's super great. That's why I have Pavly Panic every month. I guess they're called frames. So I have an A part and a B part. I think if you press enter, the song will play. How about that? So you can see it here as we kind of squeeze through. It'll go Excellent. So, Narshade, for those who have not seen this type of thing, this is what's called a tracker. Um, and it tracks out musical notes in some kind of sequence, some kind of order, to make up a tune. Make, we're going to make a song. Um, noise might be the easiest to start with. It's a pretty flexible instrument, often used for percussion. Um, but instrument, that's the problem. I have these synthesizers, and those synthesizers need information. They need directions in order to do their job, which is synthesize. So I'm going to drop myself a new instrument right here in the Add Instrument panel. I think I might also be able to right-click in this giant area and say, Add an instrument. Let's do that. It adds a new instrument. We can name it here. I'm going to call this one uh, ALH. Uh, or basic, it doesn't matter. Because this is the basic sound that, you know, the default instrument that you choose. And that instrument, now that I have it selected, is compatible with any channel. So in the noise channel, that instrument's going to sound like noise. Amazing. And each um, key, right? Like if I were to... Let's change what's called my step setting. Change this to zero. So that I can keep changing the tone in that channel without actually like I want you to be able to see what we're doing here um, and another thing I think that would be important uh, is to change the size of this thing if you can't really make it out I mean it's kind of clear it's kind of unclear anyway so if I hit Z it'll give me this note here interesting I think it's actually giving me like a hex value for these notes Right? D, 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, C, E. Oh, that is uh, 7, 9. So if that's going to go to 9, then it'll start to see A, A, B, C. That's not good. That's not musical notation. That's not fun at all. I want to change that. Unless, of course, I went to here. Hey, we get a note. So, on your keyboard we have from Z, and kind of moving in the shape of a keyboard, so like S above that is C sharp, and then the very next note, D. Yeah, so this shows me the note value and what octave this thing is on, yeah? Yeah, alright. 
Um, by default, when you per when you play a note, it doesn't stop. So when we're programming these synthesizers or these voices, we need to tell the thing to quit it. And there's another key that we use for that. I think it's tilde or one. One is a note off event. If I can choose this goes off here and that goes off there. Yes. Wonderful. That makes a whole lot of sense. So when we are writing out each piece, we can give, now we can give any note value length. If there's a note that, let's say, beautiful, that E to F sharp, yeah, those whole tones, uh, 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 let's try that, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? If there's a note that's kind of out of my range right now, um, and I have different keys set up for this, you can see that by default, the octave for the bottom row is three. The next row, like if I'm going up, the next row, starting with Q, has a similar layout, and it'll go Q2E, you know, uh, five, seven, Q2. Q, 2, W, 3, E, R, 5, C, 6, Y, 7, U, I, 9, O, 0, P. So that's about, you know, one and a half octaves of work. And that gives us, all in all, three octaves to work with at a single time, which isn't bad. But if I want more, if I want a higher range, we used to make food on stream. Because if so, because if so, then what happened? We need more food in here, yeah. Yeah. We must food it up. Does Del Taco count as food? Some say yes. We have this range of octaves we can choose from the extremely low. Zero. Oh yeah. To the extremely high, please cover your ears. Seven. And that can go as high as seven. Beautiful. So these two voices, Pulse 1 and 2, are about the same. And they sound higher because of the nature of a pulse wave. It has different harmonics. Zen's a triangle wave. That's alright with me. It's even versus odd harmonics. Uh, so we can focus on the primary tone of a triangle and not a square wave because those start to add up and sound like they're more partials than there actually are. So that's our basic sound. Let's make something like a chord. Maybe one that's not in this crazy range. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. So let's go back down to 3. I got B, which does nothing, because that's in our noise channel. I'm not going to worry about the DPCM channel quite yet, because that's a little bit more complex. Um, and that's something that we often don't hear in NES music. Um, but with something we certainly can work with. I definitely got the, I got the scoop. Let's get ourselves a nice little chord. D sharp, sure. Alright, and you? What are you gonna be? Mm. Sure. Awesome. And uh, we'll just cut this out at different intervals, and we can talk a little bit about this timing thing. Yeah. I'm gonna have to watch the VOD of this. Eliza Epsilon, we're just getting started. And also let me know how bad I'm mispronouncing your name, because I will. Often. Um, so yeah, maybe it's Eliza Epsilon. I'll never know. So that's the, the basic how we get notes into here. If I do that with a sampler, we're not going to have really any sample information, so we're not going to be able to do anything about that. That's no good. You know, that's no fun. Uh, what I can do is maybe if I want to make a rhythm, I can copy and paste, just like you would with anything. We can right-click and copy. But Control-C, Control-V does fine. I want to get a sense of what the tempo of, of Family Tracker is, right? I'm going to just... Actually, let's copy this whole row. Both of them. Copy. Paste. 
Paste. Paste. Alright, maybe I want that to go on. Do do we'll kinda of make a metronome. I'm scrolling down. Scrolling steps are like these blue if you could see these blue lines. You can kind of snap between them. That helps. So this is about the tempo. 150 BPM. It's about right, actually. It sounds pretty good. Um, I've been advised, and I think I'll stand by it, that if you really want to make adjustments to tempo, uh, we'll change the speed. So speed is the number of clicks between, um, between lines. So if I lower this, it actually changes that there is one magical NES computer click. It doesn't have an eye. LZ. Oh, it does. L L Elza. L LZ. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, good morning. Welcome to the stream. Um, we're talking about tempo and song settings and family tracker. We're going to a arm you. Uh, to participate. Random question time. What is your nationality? Like, where is your family from? Um, that's a wonderful question. And complicated? My family is from the United States. Uh, I guess... Is that... That's not the answer you're looking for. Um... Okay, I got it. Elsie. Wonderful. I don't know why I got... Okay, anyway. I, uh, my nationality, I, 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 I'm American? I don't, I don't know. My, my dad is African American and my mom is white? Of, I guess, French lineage or something? German? I don't know. That's the beautiful thing about this country. So you'll find that, um, <clears throat> everything's kind of loud and obnoxious, blaring. And there's one more element to writing music um, that is pretty important, you know, in a composition. Uh, dynamics, yeah? So you'll see the way that each of these tracks is laid out. And this is so small. I really, I really want you guys to see this. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go dive the preferences to, to go and discover this. Edit uh, module settings. I just, I need some settings, man. Instrument, no, I don't want that tracker view, view, that's what I want. What is compact view? That's not worth my damn time. Okay, I want something else. Definitely don't want compact view. Frame editor position, oh, that's cool, not useful right now. I want to find, I just want to zoom in, basically. Tracker, maybe it's a tracker setting. Display register state. That's a cool thing. It shows what the heck is going on with our synthesized, our emulated 2A03 sound chip. I'm basically all of Europe and a bit Spanish. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 uh... I just work here, you know. I'm, I didn't have a choice, man. <laughs> I don't think that I would want one either, honestly. But that's aside from the point. I want to know how to change my tracker settings. So, baby. Volume mask. Instrument mask. What does this button do? We'll never know. It didn't do anything visible. Module properties? Maybe? Try it out. No. So the module properties, this is where we go to add all of those super cool extra channels like VRC6 and VRC7 and N163 and also vibrato style. Um, and we can add that to this f song. We can add the name. We can change the name of the song, uh, which I guess I could do that here. ALH underscore Uno, because I'm so about that. All right, cool. Great. Good job. Um, pattern. Seriously, you guys? 
how do I change? No, 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 no. Find and replace, go to bookmarks, mask, paste, special delete. I did not want to create an NSF. Configuration. Hey, there we go. So this is totally good. I like this preview. It's using some strange thing. Pattern and font size 18 is just a little too small for my taste. Let's go up. Let's go up to 2030. 2030. Apply. Uh, that looks way better. So now you can see what's up. I wish it wasn't so tall. Um, maybe 25 is legitimate. That's pretty good. Okay, cool. So now we have actually something that that's that's workable and you could see the things okay can it handle audio in chat is there supposed to be no audio or is that just my phone being terrible again i i want to say that's your phone probably uh graphic bongo welcome welcome to the stream uh yes so i want to talk about a little bit more about these notes before we get a little crazier um so like oh, it's got this wonderful name because of the per channel effects. And each like instruction so if you think about this program for making music in terms of instructions for each voice of this 2A03 synthesizer, right? I say play this note C4 using instrument 0, right? The basic instrument. I have a volume parameter and I have an effect parameter, which is a set, which is like a predefined function or a pre-registered function. So let's say when I play this, everything is kind of equally loud and kind of a pain in the butt. And I can actually, oh, one thing real quick. You have to hit space bar to go between this blue, which is like an inspector, and red, which is an editor type mode. Um, we're going to be flying all over this, uh, all over this musical spreadsheet, as Jake calls it, and you should definitely know when you are, when you are, and when you are not editing the thing. That's useful because if this thing is playing and I'm throwing down values, that's like not going to happen, right? If I have this other mode set. So, what are these values, right? Our volume register zone. Sweet. Let's delete this guy. Can't do it unless I'm editing it. Remember that. All right. So let's say probably the cleanest way to check about my my values here. What if I just drag select this whole pattern of bees? I'm gonna, I'm gonna select all your bees. Oh, look at this. I can't edit two patterns at once. Wow. Hit space. I want this to be at like a nine, right? Oh, I can't make them all nine. Oh, how about you? Cool. And how about, I don't know, what if I make this like one? I guess I should slow myself down here. So zero, and this is a hex based, right? So I can go zero through F. Let's see here, zero, one, two, three, four. You can step up that way, and that's neat. Um, we can actually make this process a little bit faster if we know that all of our steps are evenly spaced. TMAD, welcome back. Hopefully your internet connection will not stay dead. If I go up to here, you'll see edit settings. And I can actually scroll wheel or click up to increase the size of those steps. And that'll help me if I wanted to do things like five. Oh, now I'm in the next one. Six, awesome, seven, wait, nine. Uh, I guess A, B, C, D, E, F. And the last one's not really going to matter because it'll just go back to zero or something like that. Um, but it's important to be aware of when you are making these these adjustments to your sound program, yo. So now we will have play high have our shaker or our weird hi hat noise thing um, become louder over the course of this pattern. Let's uh, give it a listen. Wonderful. And that's it. We have dynamics, ladies and gentlemen. So let's do that 16 thing in reverse. Can I make a song for another sound trip? Yes, you can. Um, okay, you have a real question. What is that? F. I'm just going to work this backwards. 
What comes before F? We did it. Ta-da! Do the entries have to be original, or can we do covers? Um, if I am running this show, and I don't know what the rules are, I have to. I want to nail that down with Garion. But my initial guess is we're all here to learn, and I absolutely welcome covers. That's totally cool. I think the only rule is that we use a tracker and that the track takes you an hour. <laughs> um, I will be producing this track live on, on Twitch. You can mute me while you produce your track. And also, please ask questions if you have them. Um, I will take that handicap. Even though we don't, you know, nobody, there is no winner. Ultimately, um, the other sound chip was not going to be in Family Tracker. Uh, it was definitely going to be a joke. Okay. That's just fine. I mean, I think Family Tracker is a good base for everybody to learn off of, because uh, Jake is a serious master of it. And also, there's a whole Family Tracker Discord of serious masters of it. And a lot of people who frequent our channel, I would imagine, like Lumena or... Um, People of that sort, Hoffy, I think, is also a tracker head, um, that you want to learn from them. And so let's use a tool that's close to that. Um, we didn't even get into the whole OCC part. So we figured out dynamics, right? We got note placement. We got note ending. That's pretty important. And we have dynamics. We have volume of the note. There's one more thing that trackers are really, really good at, and that's applying um, different effects to each channel. So the third set of dots right here, right? If I have my note selection, my instrument selection, and my volume, I have this third set of a function and its parameters. So OCC, or 0CC, is that function. It also helps to turn steps off when you're editing, but you know. 0cc. So what does that sound like, right? Well, let's, uh, let's do a little game here. If I click on the name of any of these voices, I can mute them. That's useful. If I unclick them, I'll unmute them. I think if I double-click them, then I'll unmute all or something like that. Like, there's a way to... It basically toggles all. So let's listen to Just Pulse 1 with the OCC effect. Off to editoring. Do your thing, Tomoki. Make you a video. Wonderful. So it sounds like it's an octave effect. So zero is an arpeggio. Uh, X is the second note, and Y is the third note. So O, C, C. C is what? 12 in hex? So it's playing the bass note, and it's playing an octave above that, and an octave above that. Uh, if you don't believe me, let's maybe do something with music theory. Like we'll play the fifth, and we'll play uh, maybe the third and the fifth, which is four and yeah, seven. So I have a major chord off of an arpeggiation, and that's like a really old trackerly trick. If I don't have a lot of voices, then I need to describe. Um, a chord using a very, very fast arpeggiation of a single voice, right? So, that's pretty neat, you know. That's, that, that's the name of the game. How do the numbers work on semitones? Yes. So, for, that is for this function. It's kind of hard to see. Um, I, actually, let me get Windows Magnifier up. Magnifier! All right, so check this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. This is this is the, this is the bee's knees, as my friend Brian used to say. Um, so you can see in the whoa, you can see in the bottom here. This is the description of this effect that we have on this channel, right? So I have zero, which is an arpeggiation, arpeggio zero x y, where x is the second note and y is the third note. And that is the effect. 
So, is that sound from Codemasters games? I don't know. Maybe. Didn't Codemasters make, uh... Dirt? <laughs> the racing games? I really like their stuff. Um, so, we have ourselves... A ringtone. Um, what does it sound like in the context of all the other stuff? Neat. Uh, bad is what it sounds like. But I can change the root of that note any old day. Let's see, what are you going to be? If I have G and I have... Oh, that's right! G sharp and D sharp. I guess... Sweet. We have lots of other effects, though, that we can toy with. Um, if I hang out over here and hit space, um, you can see most of these... Oh, I don't remember what NES Codemasters games sound like either. So anyway, most effects... Uh, starting, think about, like, start from any set of numbers. So zero is an arpeggio. One is slide up. Two, slide down. Three, automatic portamento. Sweet. Uh, vibrato. I'm just kind of throwing down numbers. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, and six don't have a function that is applicable to that channel. Uh, tremolo, seven. Uh, looks like. 8 and 9 don't apply to that channel. I don't know if symbols also work as functions. That seems not to work. Um, but then we can start going into letters. So A, volume slide. B, box jump. C, halt song. D, skip to row. So we have some things that, some program events that you can use to sequence your song as well. Skip to a specific frame. So like basically adding a coda. Um, let's see. There are so many functions. I imagine E, set length, counter, G, set note, uh, delay. Portman, so down, delayed transpose, set DPCM sample offset, hardware sweep, modulation rate, set groove. There are so many things we can do. Find pitch adjustments. Um, and that's, you know. That's that's kind of where we're going. Set square duty. That sounds like fun. Let's do that. So let's set the square duty. If it was halfway... Wait, hold up. Hold up. How does the portamento work in Family Tracker? Alright, do you remember what function portamento was? Because I certainly don't. Let's have a look. Maybe it's, uh... Maybe it's you. A, V, G, E, W, no? X is, I'm just going to press a bunch of buttons until we find it, because I can't remember what the heck it was. Maybe it was 7. 5. 3. There's automatic portamento. I don't think that's what I use. It's Q. Here we go. So Q, portamento up. There should be another one for portamento down, but let's use just portamento up. So here I have put in the letter Q. And let's solo this track. So if I hit this, it does nothing. Because I need values for this portamento up function, yeah? Yeah. So what is this? Ugh, out of my way. So speed and notes. How long it takes to get to the next tone that you set. Notes, imagine, are going to be in semitones. So C, for example, is 12. And the speed is going to be related to ticks, right? So it takes six ticks to get to where we're going um, at the next, like, in the next subdivision, basically. Uh, so let's make it something like, let's see, this thing's going on for two ticks. It should be an octave if I hit that in three steps. This is just a theory. Amazing. So that's how, that's how a upward portamento works. There's also, I'm sure, a downward one. Um, if you don't believe me. That sucks, because I just, I just proved that I'm not full of, full of trash. Um, we can make it even slower. Slowest possible setting is 1. Pretty good. You know, it's alright. Um, and that might even flow with our strange sketch. 
Oh gosh, here's an idea. Rest in peace, idea channel. Alright, and then let's make ourselves another... I need lower notes. I had a key set up for this. I can't remember what it was. But you can set up shortcut keys to get around octaves instead of having to type that in. Why do I think... I don't know. Whoa. Oh, another thing I should probably mention. You should turn effects off. <laughs> uh, so zero, zero, zero. Excellent. The keybind for switching off this team at, I was just looking at that. Man, let's go figure it out, because that's pretty useful. I had it set up, I think, as, uh, I don't know. It's not page up and page down. There is a default. I think I had it set up as alt, uh, as an alt, one, two, three, no, that's setting up my, uh, if you hold alt and press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you can change your step settings, zero through nine, which is pretty useful. I think maybe it's control up and down, left and right, no, that's not it at all. Okay, so let's go, f let's go find it. It's probably inside a configuration, just a guess, just a guess. Shortcuts, there's a shortcuts tab right here. Control minus and control equal sign. It, it's effectively plus and minus. Um, they just don't want you to hit shift, but you can see as I press control, believe me that I'm pressing it, uh, minus and equal sign, we can kind of scoot around that way. I'm pressing alt, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, Nostalgia Junkie Music. It's all right. You're good. You're good. We're just in time. Um, please let me know what questions you have. I've only made a really strange and awkward... Um, I guess it's like an intro... <laughs> and it's like, it's a, it's like the, the little help intro. Ta-da! Yay! It's beautiful. So, uh, don't worry. I have a tendency to not do things on time. Kinda, sorta. Um, but when I do, it's wonderful. I really like this, this magnifier thing. I'm a big fan. Windows magnifier finally, finally becoming useful. It's so cool. It's just, it hangs out right next to me. We can talk about, you know, we can talk about stuff. Oh, that's this side. It's this side. Look at him. Ah, uh, tell me. Tell me about your uh, beautiful notes. How do I... What is this? What? How do I Tim Follen? I don't even know what that means. Uh, press random keys on the keyboard. Maybe I'm just a noob, but this program seems kind of complex. It definitely is not as friendly um, trackers in general are kind of daunting, I think, because of just all these numbers and, sh like, there's not really, there's, there's not a lot of good information about that. You know, you would think, I mean, it's, 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 the thing is, all of the information is right in front of you, and that m probably is the difficult part. Um, to be able to understand all of those things and go, oh, yes, of course, um, that is most likely the the challenge i would say i don't i don't know how do you not know of tim fallen i don't i don't know i'm not a chip tuner actually but this guy's a chip tune god um i mean what if i'm just a noob with chip tunes i mean you guys 
especially Dogen, I imagine. Like, you remember the first time I opened up this plug, this software. Um, you know, you were you were kind of there, sort of. But one more element. Look up sooner. Well, uh, what? 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 Let's have a look here. Throw me a thing. Crap. Phone spelling. Silver Surfer. Ugh. I'm gonna U YouTube live. Who's this fallen cat? This guy. All right, let's dance. Oh crap! <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay. He's dancing. I'm dancing. This is amazing. Okay, okay. Silver Surfer, who is this man? Tim and Ja Fallen. That's pretty crazy stuff. So it loops. That's cool, man. Okay, that's really cool. Today's today's chiptune selection is brought to you by Duggan in the form of Silver Surfer Level One. Put this in your playlist. I'm gonna make a playlist called Chip Selects because you know, why not? And you can you can choose uh you can choose you can choose to send me more chip selects and I will put them in this playlist and everyone can experience the wonders of video game music. It sounds like it has an echo in the video, whatever the case is. That's a darn cool track. Um, a lot of different instruments in there, you know? Sets up my segue really, really nicely. Because in order to make a full song, I think we're going to need more than one basic instrument. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that's actually kind of obnoxious. Um... So, I mean, adding another instrument is just like adding the first instrument, right? We can, we can select one over here, we can add new instruments, we can right-click, we can add an instrument. We can actually, I think, copy an instrument from another project, uh, which is cool. Because the numbers that are assigned here, these green letters and numbers, these green numbers, are going to be what the heck... Um, our program is looking for to produce. The instrument didn't change, so I don't think it's going to put an instrument value in here for us. It doesn't really have an, a reason, you know, it doesn't have a new instrument information. But let's say it did, you know? Let's add a new instrument, right? This one will be called the uh, Fear of Dark? Sure, why not? That's a great name. Fear of Dark. I don't know what Fear of Dark sounds like. Which is probably like another shameful YouTube search away. But, you know, I want to demonstrate. 
Maybe we'll use instrument one, as you can see here. Zero zero is basic. Zero one is fear of dark. And fear of dark needs a particular sound. However, that sound or that information, the program that each of these voices is going to use, um, we'll have to interpret that information differently. And so uh, I can double click, I believe, and go into an instrument editor. An instrument editor that gives us a couple deeper parameters and actually introduces us to the DPCM channel, which we can put drums into. I think especially for things like kicks or toms or things that we, we want to save our baseline for something else. Um, that's definitely the way to go. Little kind of crunchy vocal samples and things like that. We do have like an importer and a preview and editor, and I don't have anything right now that I want to sample because I hadn't really planned that far ahead. I thought maybe, you know, for an hour, which that time is nearly up, let's edit an instrument really rapidly and prepare yourselves. That's right. Did you know, LZ Epsilon, that um, we actually. This is this is a this program does support MIDI. You can input notes with a MIDI keyboard. As a matter of fact, I'm tempted to grab one just right now and do exactly that, um, but I'm not going to. Maybe next week. That's right. We're doing it again next week. Um, so what I'm thinking is, what do we do? The duty cycle is going to be affected. We can choose the number of steps. Right, styles. I can say, oh, within, I don't know, eight steps. That seems fair. I can change the pulse width of a single tone. So if I'm focusing on this voice, DW, just like uh, that girl from Arthur. Yes, this supports a MIDI keyboard. It doesn't really open up too many possibilities. Like, don't get too ahead of yourself. It definitely supports MIDI for note input. So if I were to open b -b -b configuration, we can choose a MIDI input output device. We can receive clock signals. We can map MIDI channels to NES channels. We can record velocity, which is super useful. That is huge. And auto arpeggiate chords. Pretty useful. I guess it's not the same as like if you know you have a bunch of knobs that you can turn. Um, but how do you input notes into Family Tracker anyway? I'm glad you asked. Let me slow my roll here a little bit because I just made a new instrument and I don't like the sound of it. Don't like it. Uh, maybe something like oh, let's give it some kind of swell. So so all right, that was the epsilon. Let's walk. Let's walk back just a little bit. So. What I did here, let me delete this thing. Let me get rid of you, my friend. Remove instrument. So what you need in order to place notes in Family Tracker, you need an instrument. We're going to make a new instrument. Uh, and we're going to call it uh, Graphibongo, who will be right back. Um, and what you do, uh, you have an instrument selected. And what I want to do is put in maybe like a scale of some sort. So every time I edit a note, what I want to well what I have to do is hit space. It changes from this this editor from blue to red, this like cursor. Right? And um I have on my keyboard a bunch of notes, right? Uh pretty much every note except for like A and F and not not that one. K. AFK doesn't count, so if you're not here, you don't win. Right, but you need an instrument, and uh, yeah, you press space to get in edit mode. You change the step size here, so if I were to edit the steps right now, with one, one step at a time, it'll follow every tick. Right? Neat. Um... So you can change the octave up here. You can also press Control minus or plus. Uh, that's the sound that it makes when you when you do that. Totally horrendous. 
Um, let's see here. And one more thing. What else do you need to know? Can I do this? Oh, really? What one really important thing that'll help you a lot with notes or with music with notes is having a note off event. Um, there's a sustain event, I think. It looks like this, but that's not as cool as this. If you hit number one, um, which I think is can be number pad one as well. No, it can't. That just selects instruments. All right. It is the one above the letter Q on your keyboard. If you're a, Q, a quartier, I guess it'd be over the D. If you're a Dvorak here. Um, hey, it's Gary. You should definitely use note off events in order to help you make rhythms. How important is this? Um, let's see. So like if I were to make, let's change our step size to four again. I'll press alt and four. It's not bad. And then I want like a I don't know how I start there. Let's pick a different pick a different note. Perfect. Alright. Moves down four ticks. Super useful. So here's that note we just had. Here's our next step. And we'll kind of just live in between those two things. Uh so if I hit space I can preview the note. Like I'm not sure what I want after that G. No? Yeah. Cool. And then yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go Alt 2. Uh, I wanted that G again. Uh, let's go here. So I'm pressing space to preview the note when it's blue. Uh, do right. So I'm inside of the second pattern, and that'll give me a good opportunity to see why we use this. Ah, uh, no, that doesn't sound as good. Did he? Seriously, man. Right. So I, I obviously didn't make that up. Uh, if you know Mega Man music. What are you doing? What are you doing? I want you. And I want to delete you. So the thing about step editing that's kind of a pain in the butt is it'll kind of lock. It doesn't lock up, but it isn't particularly intuitive. So. <clears throat> It's great for adding rhythm when you know, like, oh, everything's going to be at this step distance, right? But what's important is note off events. Because that doesn't actually do me any good. Um, let me turn this step edit down to one or even zero. Um, that means just when I put in an event, it's not going to automatically step forward for me. For example, let's edit, delete that. Even hitting delete moves forward a step. Now if I hit one, okay. Sweet. Do, do. Uh, one, two, three, four, I guess, boom. Is the number to the right of the letter the octave? Yes, the number to the right of the letter is the octave. Um, usually what you would see is the number to the right of that would be the instrument that we're assigning to it. So I want to edit this instrument really rapidly just to give you a sense of what the heck that's about. Uh, so like I can draw a volume envelope, for example. That's pretty nice, you know, it's kind of smooth. Good intro to synthesis. Okay, and I can set the instrument 
for all of these guys, uh, to zero, or to one, if I just hit one, 10, instrument 10, the instrument that doesn't exist, 11, another instrument that doesn't exist, ah, there we go, one, so I guess red will show up as an error, so now, And we can't hear that at the end, because we're actually setting the volume to nothing. Let's do it the opposite way. Uh, and, you know, that's kind of like the Chill Penguin method. Um, so we can have different instruments. You can see instrument one is, is like, oh, okay, well now this boy should use this instrument. Wonderful. Um, that is good. Neat. Eh. Instrument zero, instrument one, and the MIDI effect, or not MIDI, but the tracker channel effect and volume are the, are each of these sections here. So there's note, instrument, volume, and effect per channel, and we're good to go. Ah, okay, okay. Compared to piano rolls and DOS that you have used, yes. I um, mean, this is octaves one and two. This is octave three, octave two, yeah. I mean, you know. Do do do, aha! You know it is a it is a way. But I can have both of these instruments playing at once. Uh, what is this? Four steps in. Let me do that. So, uh, sweet. I make a lot of typos, I feel like not looking for, I mean, you know, at least acknowledging that you're making mistakes is a better way to get on down. Maleficat, the mad, wow, welcome back! Uh, that's a little, it's a little too far. Uh, so it's three down from C. Too far, too far. Uh, Alt one. A. Whoa. A. A. Neat. Chip for life. Hello, family chippers. Are you guys ready? I think it's. I think I'm a little bit late. It's. It's ten after four. I'm gonna save my work. You should save your work too, if you're working in Family Tracker. Um, the other intro is the name of this project. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna we're gonna do that. So close to ready, like two minutes. If anyone has a couple of questions before working on editing is done, working on editing, please let me know. My chair is very uncomfortable, but I don't care. It's part of the art, you know, the struggle. If I was just making robot computer music, uh, you know, in comfort, letting all of those softwares play sounds for me and stuff, I mean, that wouldn't be fun for anybody, right? Right? Right. So we're going to do that. 
we don't want to do do that. We are dealing with that today. Maybe I'll check my my messages. I don't know. You know, if you guys want to get on the phone with me, I should have a live stream where I'm just like on the phone. Like, hello. Yes. You feel like Korean soups? We can play golf. Think about it. Think about it. It might be a light bulb invention. This is just, this is how you play golf. Are you playing golf story? I'm all about that. I'm only two instruments. Continue your track. No, no, because I want to start from scratch. I'm not really, this was just a demonstration. Maleficat the Mad Cat. Um, I just wanted to get anybody who is, who is tracking this. Um, anybody who is hanging out with us. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm all about that golf. Galif. Golf Story is so good. It's stupid good. I've played too much of that game. It's only been out for like a week. Um, we're going to run a new track. I wanted people to check in either here or on Discord. If you're not on our Discord, you should get over there. Uh, this is how you do it. That's not how you do it. You need to go to that link. But um, let's see. What, uh, what else? There is something else. I'm looking for it. Uh, where are you? I have a Discord type thing. I'm looking for maybe we have uh not game development, but is it Bart Council? No? Ah, uh, crap. General, huh? Yeah, perhaps? Hey, Mad Cat. Welcome to the server. I didn't say that because I'm a robot. Wow, look at all these people just showing up. Welcome. I guess we have rules and stuff. That's just something that. Oh, is it Remix? Where do these people live? Who are you? Where are you? Quackfest or Plan and Bard Council? Gosh. I got a road... I got a sign, road sign in our own Discord here. I got to watch commercials for my own Twitch channel here. It's crazy. All right, cats. I'm seriously waiting for some people to check in. Uh, I guess check in here. Over in the Bard Council. Let me know. Hit me uh, with a thing or something. Me. Yes. I'm ready. This is going to be a 45-minute... Where's Garion? Gary, and where are you? He's online. Let's let's just call him out live on Twitch. Show up in the Bard Council, and I will start the clock. Uh, Graphibongo, you have missed nothing. You you've you've simply you you've simply not. It's about that time. It's about that time to start. Ready your marks. I'm going to ready on my mark and make a new thing. Um, yes, Gary, and we're getting ready to start. Gosh darn it. I don't know who's down for this, but um, I got, what is this? 415 Pacific. All right. Um... This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Get the heck ready. We're we're on. A quarter past. It's gonna take me forever to do it. Begin at XX fifteen. It's so close. The pressure's getting to me. My my, my palms are sweating. Nostalgia Junkie Music, we're going to make a track in Family Tracker in an hour. And whoever wants to participate will do that. And then, yeah. What we'll do is we'll listen to the tracks at 5.15. Somehow. We didn't really cover rendering tracks. We didn't cover exporting stuff. So I suppose you could send your Family Tracker file or NSF file? I don't know. It's time to go. It's time. It's on. It's gone. It's going. J James Brown. <laughs> we can upload FTM files on Discord, and then I can grab them and play them live. I will do exactly that in an hour. I have crap. Crap, say, craps, I don't know what that means. I'm, I'm going to read chat and go. 
But the first thing I'm going to do is make an instrument. Because I need a rhythm. I can't just be d doing nothing over here. Alright. Ooh. Uh, keep going, keep going. Ah, this instrument sucks. I need some serious, like, control here. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. That's beautiful. Maybe we'll speed it up a little bit. Maybe we'll change that the size of our our steps, you know. Uh what notes do I want? This one? Feel like I made an error too. I really wish you could just like jam on top of that. That's right. It's limited time. Oh, I don't know if it's limited to only farmer family trucker. We haven't nailed out the rules, but Garyan's here. Ask people in the chat. Ask people on Discord. I feel I just want to get better at family tracker. I think the tracker is the thing. All right, all right. But the thing is, I won't be able to see your files. So if you know how to use LSDJ or other thing like uh, Demon Tracker or whatever weird S or whatever weird Genesis thing, go for it. Um, and just send us an MP3 in the Bard Council at 5.15, or an hour from now, roughly. Boy? Or girl -oo? Person? -uh? Uh, let's see. I want the most steps on that. I think it has to be four. Uh, how many steps do we have? Triggered. Fair enough. You probably are. Let's do it. Person. Unless you're not a person. That's like, that's up to you. Keeping it, keeping it easy. Sweet. That's that's cool. Uh do 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 do
Space is the place. Sweet, I need another instrument. Gotta go, there's no time. This one is called Apache for our dear friend who identifies as an Apache. This one is called No Time for the next person who makes a joke about time. What do you sound like? Get way low. Lower? No, no. All right. Uh, all eight. Uh, Then I want to adjust the volume from here all the way to here. Uh, as I think, E. How do you do? There's a way to. There's a way to bridge values. Shh. I press one. I can select between these two areas. I think it's Command K or G. There we go. Shh. It's G. I found out it's G. The answer is G. Oh, look out. That means I can have a really, really linear adjustment to the volume from here to there. If I want to maybe go to U E, and I want to go from here to here. I wish I could select the last next note. Command G. Look at this. I've got a gradient of value. That sounds like heck. How come I don't have any instrument assignments going on here? This has a, this this belongs to you group. What? I wonder why that's not on by default. That kind of worries me. This this worries me. What? No no not that one. Zero one. Sweet, let's make a new pattern go. There's no time. And uh, maybe I can change the frame settings. Oh no, I can't make an individual frame. Oh, I can do that here. <sighs> That's fine. Believe in yourself. You, the noise channel. You will be the same pattern as before. Wow, such cheat. Yeah. One stop.
Let's do something crazy. Does volume not affect this channel? Lies. It totally does. I do with that portamento, that super sweet move. It's not Q. Oh, it is cup. Q. Uh, Q. I know we're going to C, and we're going to go in the direction of very quick. Make sure you save your work. Save it. ALH underscore OHC Uno. UNO. Uh, 6C. 6 is too slow. 9. Uh, control minus minus. I want. Even number? Da -da -da. Problem with the mouse. That's the best thing about this software is it really doesn't require keyboard input. Or mouse input. It, it exclusively requires keyboard input. Uh, let's see, I want maybe two? What? You were just playing the wrong instrument, guy. Uh, alt. Space. Maybe I'll get this guy to comp for me, you know. Using the same instrument? So, like... It is. It's a happy tune. Today's a happy day. We're finally doing this one-hour comp. I don't even know if it's a half-broken mouse that needs replacing. It tends to just disconnect sometimes. This time it glitched out after I replugged it. Ah, computers, you know. So many problems. Hopefully this song will cheer you up. T-Mad is just on top of helping. Uh, let's see. I want another... I want another tune. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, can I change the speed of these nodes in an arpeggiation? Because that's just too, it's just too fast. It's using the tick speed, which is kind of neat. I don't know. All right, let's do this. Um, I want you. And I want a way lower register. Here. And then I want O. So X7. Z. That <laughs> sounds like crap. What if I had no note difference? And then I just go up a level. The crap is that? No, you know what? No. That's not, that's not working for me. This whole thing, that's, that whole thing is not working. Uh, how about something rounder? A new instrument. We'll call this one, we'll name this one after uh, Epsilon's mouse. It'll be called Elza, Elza Mouse. Perfect. It's like Elmo. Anyway, remember the Elmo. Uh, do, do. What if I did like gated volume over, let's see, four 16 steps? So like this type of thing. So I had four steps on and four steps off and four steps on and it would sound like this. Right? Maybe that's fun. Maybe that'll work. Yeah. Now, will that work with an arpeggiated effect? Now we're getting salty. Mmm, salt flavor. This weird island track. The island track. Da 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 da. Yeah. So, I wonder. Ooh, ooh, I like where this is going. How do I, I think it's that? Mm, I don't like that though. I did. Like, kind of like reggae. This is on four. Alt four. What is this? What is this doing? Zero, one, two. Okay. And then. This is going too far. You've taken it too far. Uh, what is this? What is this weird pattern I see here? Um, Do, 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 do. 
This is tricky because only some nuts are going to work with this weird thing. But in practice, that gives us two notes. Yeah, it does. It sounds like also only a few notes are going to work in this context either, right? Like, the arpeggiation doesn't do what I want it to do. Like, that kind of has the brightness, right? That I want for that sound, but it's not... Yeah, see, that's, that's way better, right? That's like... Do 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 do. And then I want to duplicate this pattern, this thing. So we're just going to insert a frame. Uh, and it increments if it increments everything automatically, but I can just program that back to have my rhythm, and then I can also program this back to have my backing track, my 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 other thing, right? And most of this other pattern I want, so I might just copy and paste it, uh, like so. Boo 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 boo. It's weird that it doesn't have the instrument like program change. I'm so weirded out by that. I'm so used to seeing that, that I'm kind of scared for my life right now, honestly. There you go. Uh, that seems close to right. Uh, Family Tracker volume is really low. Let me fix that really rapidly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mad. I guess I should let it run. What am I doing? What am I doing? Enter. Did I mention that you press enter to play the song? Yeah, I didn't keep my instrument settings. You suck. Stop right there, guy. Okay, you are instrument two. And remember that. Do -do -do -do. I guess there? Can I go up a pattern or two? What is this? Who are you? One more? So much. Da -da. Gotta put in those no breaks. These are also off, um, because it's kind of syncopated. It starts on second beats, and we're starting the next pattern on first beat. Kind of hard to see. That's the other thing. Family Tracker, hard to see. But that's fine. Cut, right? Right? Cut? Uh, but I enable edit mode that I could do that. Because I can paste it where I want to paste it. Just have to be smart. Right? Uh, octave lower. But, um, yeah. All 
Alright. I like what you are doing, leftmost volume guy, but you could be louder. Uh, let's go with E. Okay. Um, cool. And then I want the next pattern, or the next frame, to really be a duplicate of frame zero, or one. So that goes all the way through. This thing goes to there. This thing goes to here. And I might as well not use a DPCM channel. Um. Also, if I make any modifications to this, will that mess up my thing? Can I even do that? No, I think it'll edit all of those channels. Which... Right, so if I go up to here, yeah, it, it's an instance of the same pattern. So do be wary of editing tracks that way. Uh, you are going to be that version. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I I make a new one. Whoa, I don't want to do that. I don't know what I did. Go back a bit. Yeah. Okay, so then this should be the last pattern. And then I want to insert a new frame. And that frame should be a progression. So this actually is going to be... The same rhythm, because we're not messing with that, this track. Um, and it'll be the same, that thing. And the same this thing, but we're going to write a new melody in this weird bass thing. Cool. I'm glad I could help. I'm glad I could help a little bit. How, much, how are we doing on time, trackers out there? You have 30 minutes. It is a quarter till. Quarter till I play your your files. It's easier if we all use Family Tracker because then I could just look at your beautiful trackings. Um, we have an intro. I have something of like a a a verse going on here. Uh, let's see. Uh, so this would be like a either a three or six. I think we'll try three, and I want a different instrument. Higher. Uh. Can I get a tremolo effect in here? Is that how that works? T. Delay transpose upward. Okay. First of all, no. Find pitch, portamento, volume, set length. Yo. Hey, Matt. What up? I'm making some weird stuff. Who's that? Is he? Did you finally get a t-shirt with my face on it? Man. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, is it Tom Cruise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, you are the wrong instrument. 
Again, you fail me. Okay. And you, what instrument are you supposed to be? One? Alright. Uh, let's put this at eight. And we're gonna sink it down to zero. Here. And... I don't know. Yeah, it's probably around. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Never gets old. It really doesn't. Oh yeah. Baseline flute solo. Or triangle triangle wave flute solo. Okay, so effects don't work really on this channel. They just don't. As we're doing a one hour competition on on our Discord. Uh yeah. And uh I thought maybe I'd show people how to use Family Tracker a little and then like make a thing. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to the numbers. It looks like there are probably 15 or 20 people watching. Yeah. And however many people participating, that's up to them. But a lot of, a lot of people showed up when they saw Mint Potion was doing, like, Chiptune stuff. I wonder, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. So now we need, like, a... Now we need like a chord change, right? <laughs> need like a, a another section of this song. Da -da 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 -da. It's very islandy. I'm digging it. Uh, where the crap am I? Do this. Turn that note off. I gotta put volume back in there. <sighs> uh, a uh, couple hours. You're good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like not a good pattern. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. Oh, can I insert empty space? Is the insert key my friend today? Yeah, it is. Set the volume. I'm really disappointed in some of these settings. Your instrument zero. You're you're loud. Is that not loud enough for you? I don't understand. Maybe it's the wrong instrument. You ever just, you know, you ever just give the wrong instrument to someone? We're getting somewhere. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, we could just keep this fluty tastic thing going. Uh, so if I duplicate frame, we're talking about the current current frame. 
versus cloning the pattern, which, eh. Because I can always change the pattern here and add a new one, like that. Do, do, ba, ba, da, ba, da. Uh You you know, we should make a platformer. Good, maybe one. Da, 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 da. Hey, Trankin, Trankinville, Tankinvilles, thanks for following us. Beep, beep, boobs. Great beep, boobs tonight. Thank you, Atoric. We're doing, we're doing what we can. Um, trying to figure out what the heck I'm, what I'm trying to believe here. Yeah. So, like, oh, it has to be a larger step than one, because I know what that'll sound like. <laughs> I don't want that. Did, did, did. Yeah, maybe like. Oops, undo, 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 undo. Yeah. 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 But um one two and alt zero down space one what the f there we go uh alt two space space ba -da -da -da. and then another pattern A duplicate frame and then for you I'm gonna add another and then on one, you are going to play note, that note, All right? So once you're like in the groove, Family Tracker is pretty quick, actually, right? We're we're doing we're having a good time. And if you're having time, you have about twenty minutes. Stop! Okay, go! Um, duplicate. We'll clone it. No, we gotta duplicate it. We're doing a thing here. And we're gonna increase. Which I think is a pattern that already exists. Uh, here. 
So Alt 1, Space, Enter. I want to insert time here. Just not there. Crap. Let's undo a couple of things here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, and then here I think I can delete time. I think I can delete time. Ooh, tricky. Not a great sound. Keep it up. Okay, so... Da -da. Sweet. I don't know what to do next. What if I duplicated this pattern? So I want to duplicate... What are you, four, five? What am I looking at? I'm looking at pattern four, five, six. Can I copy a pattern so I can clone it? Copy? Paste? I don't know if that's what I want. Let's find out. Okay, so that's neat. Not what I want. But what I can do is kind of bump you all out of existence so that I have a good looping pattern at the end. But now I'm like working on the inside here, right? Um, and this, I really wish I duplicated it, but I suppose I could just copy and paste that information, right? If I'm in edit mode. I can go like this and go down to pattern seven, basically. Uh, this is going to be here, paste, yeah. I would paste him. Uh, so where are we at? Right. I want that. Ba -dum 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 -ba -da -da -da. So I have a duplicate of this now, and I can change the note content of it. Which... Whatever, uh, Alt 2, something like that. That's like not a sound that Family Tracker makes. Again! So from here, I think I want to do that. All right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, those notes do exist.
I messed up something. Radiation. Oh. So this section is a new pattern, but it's not. But it is. So over here, just to be safe, I will get rid of my notes input. And this is not a new pattern. It is now. And let's maybe put some chords. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good, chat. Chat, if you're in this if you're in on this, you have ten minutes, roughly. It's three after the hour. Um to get you get you a track. I've been playing a track for the better part of an hour, so like I clearly am done already. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Let's see, where do I want this to go? I don't have a lot of time, I've got 10 minutes! The fact that it does nothing! So, what if we do this? Because I do want to have, now, now that I hear the structure of it, I do kind of want to have this other pattern back in there. So let's just get that back in there, and we'll, we'll get this one back in there, and, and you know, that's good. And then, uh, you know, we really need uh, that same note, which is a C. Um, and then I think portamento down works? Uh, it's G? No, that's row delay T? Delayed transpose, uh, slide up, slide down. Here we go. So that's the number two. Uh, and the speed should be pretty slow. So it's XX right next to each other. You can't see this because it's top secret. But that gives us oh, a whole bunch of numbers. Uh, 32. Or 16 plus 16, I don't know. It gives us a whole bunch of numbers. So let's see, uh, my division is 4. What if I just put in 4? It's not particularly musical. But it kind of is. I'm not disappointed. Really could have done worse. Uh, let's divide it down a bit. And then we'll turn this note off here. Catching it like a pro. And we'll make a completely new pattern after this. Like, don't even, don't even worry about it. Um... I do like my rhythm pattern quite a lot. Not gonna lie, kind of it's kind of a big deal. So we're gonna just keep that in there because it feels good, right? It feels got a good. Right, um, and so then we'll use that. These things. Um, let's have our leading voice. Uh, here. Right. So one. What is this pattern? Dun, dun, dun. It's what is this? 
One, two, and da 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 da. Sweet. Okay. Can't hear it, right? Get that vamp. Okay. Stop right there, Cassin. But first, I'd like you to meet the captain. Very avant. Okay. Uh, I think there's also like a transpose button. We will find that out right the heck now. Because I want the same rhythm. I th think I can just click the note. Oh, amazing. Um, so, uh, oh, I don't know if I want to do that straight man major, but I can do that to all of those notes at the same time, which is kind of why I was interested. All right, I can select all of you, right, and I can do that. What? Super useful. And we also haven't set the instrument for all of these things. But uh, we'll do that in a second. And I guess F or whatever. Uh huh. What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you trying to prove here, man? I guess we are moving together. I really wish you could preview notes so I didn't have to. Da -da. It's kind of hard to read. Not gonna, not gonna lie. One, da da, da da da. Here we go. Copy. Hmm. Mm, mm. I think that'll fit if I just believe in myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we'll set all the instruments to something less obnoxious. I'm thinking something swell, like instrument two. That's volume two. Nice try. Ha ha ha. And then here, da 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 da. 
I'm just going to guess in. Sweet. CB... Two minutes. Two minute warning from Team Ad Forty Blue. He's not joking. I'm gonna duplicate this, and I'm going to change the volume because I think it's a bit loud. Personally, it's loud for me. I like it loud. Sure, loud is the next guy, but um. I think that's a good intro. Alright, and then I went one more, one more, one more. It's always one more. Insert frame. What the... F don't insert a frame there. I'm gonna add a frame. After this frame. And it's gonna be a mostly, mostly blank frame. Except with our magical rhythm. The rhythm that made this whole thing. Alright, and I'm gonna duplicate this frame. So that I have the same thing. And then I think we're done. I think I can save it. This is the best Family Tracker track I've made, especially in an hour. Uh, believe in yourself. We all win because we've made a thing. That's what the song's about, kind of. Yeah. I gotta turn that effect off. No, stop. That's it. We're on time. We have time. Time is time is over. Uh, let me just turn this effect off because that's a, that's embarrassing. Two. There we go. Done. Saved. I'm gonna upload my. This is what you do. I'm gonna save it as a thing so I know where I saved it. Probably to the desktop. Um, put my name on it on the desktop and then um, I'm going to put it blam right there right there in discord blam okay we got it this is amazing oh man so many files Holy crap. I'm excited. Oh, goodness. LH. Family Tracker. OHC. Uh, one. So that people know what I wrote. I tried to rip your instruments at first and wasted like 10 minutes. So many tracks. So many tracks. Let's download all of you. We don't need to play my file because it's been on the stream. No, I'll save it and I'll put it in here. Uh, so I have October 3rd, which I'm going to have to tag for you, my dude, as TMAD. Um, let's see, who else is in here? Who else is in here? Bootleg draft. Give me that bootleg draft. Uh, what else you got? Philip Aldua. I don't know if that, that's probably not. We got FTM files. We got Garyon. I will take the Garyon. This fancy plants Discord client is called Ripcord. It is made by Ask, a, Ask Cancel in our, in our. 
this guy. Um, it's pretty sweet. I like it because it's not Discord, but it is. Am I right? <laughs> Where was I? Oh dear, bad, bad girl, see? Okay, okay. So I have an FTM, and I have an FTM, and I have an FTM. Will Family Tracker play FTMs? We'll find out. Or I'll download Family Tracker Original. So I have you, 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 and you. Bootleg that funk. You get a roll. Oh, I can't do that here. This is crazy. Moderation. Rolls and info. I'll do that later. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I have Philip. I have bootleg Daft Punkin. Pumpkin. I've got Garian. Uh, Graph of Buster. Let's download that. And put it in here. And who else you got? Somebody was like way done. Another guy's using open mod flow tracker. Just make it in a tracker. Um, yeah, if I don't know what to do with these files, we're just gonna... Oh, I see, I see. Alright, alright. Um, goddamn. Is this... This is from today, right? 10-3? Short. Let's download Crab 2.12. Kaka. Very good name. Done. Exporting now. Sweet. Everyone's pretty much on time. Except for the whole 15 thing. Alright. That's it. That's all. I think. <laughs> Alright. Cool. So let me um get it going. Yo. Uh, let's open up Family Truck Ale. Uh, maybe? And I might be able to just drag and drop it, you know, because it's the future. We've done it! Alright, so this is Bootleg Daft Punkum FTM. Prepare thy shovels. Holy crap, look at all these files. Nice! That's a good loop! I'm digging it! There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on in the Namco zone. I like it. Who's next? Craft 212 Kaka. The Namco sounds good. So it looks like some of you guys know what you're doing with Family Tracker. You, you don't need a little help at all, do you? I do like this leading. Um, there's like a... Here. Yeah. Is that the bass line? Alright, Garion. Show me your 0k file. How small is this track? Dance with me. Wait, who the- this isn't Gary, is it? Hold on a sec. That was this track, wasn't it? Okay, then who's this? It's the same track, like, can you imagine they made the exact same track? Gary, your track has nothing in it, bro. I probably did this wrong. Gary, Gary. It's zero bytes, man. What's going on here? It doesn't even one byte. It doesn't even one byte. I need that file. I'm gonna go grab. I'm gonna go grab Philip 
or Teamad. Beware of Teamad. He's got a bunch of patterns. Start at the top. Oh crap! What? Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Very good. Does it in the VRC six style? Some pretty sounding stuff. That's that's pretty that's pretty sweet. Team ad, that's freaking sweet. Gush goodness, that's good. Wow. All right, Philip has the most OHCs. Hey, I'm releasing these to help others better understand how my arrangements were made. Thank you for enjoying. Cool. Okay. I didn't know that was an option. Let's see what this is. What? How did you make the note? How did you do all this? Also, it has all of your settings. This is taken. This is a good move. Yama, Yama note, line, cover. I really like that. And you can stop the program too. Okay, how do you manage? I really like um. I really like the the time adjustments. Is that what you're doing here in F? That's so cool. This F effects, guys. This this is the thing, right? Like, change the edit mode. No, change to edit mode. I want to talk about F. I'm not going to edit your file. I guess I could and it doesn't matter, but... Set speed. Cancels groove. So cool. So cool. I think that's way cool. It's one of my favorite, especially with chiptunes, it's like... It's really good. Like, there's something about controlling time and really breaking the grid that I'm totally all about. That's very, that's very pleasant. Because you expect like that such mechanical music to like just be driving all the time. Where are you at, Discordians? Garen. Hey, Garen brought some Ks. Let's download it. Garen helps, like, he inspired and kind of organized this event, so shout out to that dude very much. So, um, he should definitely do it all the time. I will delete for you the shameful. Zero zero K one without any not even a K to his name. This dance is scary. Look at all these instruments. Let's go. How do you do this delay effect? Ooh. <laughs> He's a Metroid skill. 
This is hopeful. Yeah, it's good. I am in agreement. He does the delay manually. That's old school. That's pretty good stuff. Man. It's a good it's a good way to round the track out. Look at these long row numbers. 128. Jeez. Jeez. So I got all these tracks. All over my desktop. Ah. And um wow, where to go from here? I think that might be it for this episode of A Little Help, you guys. I'm not going to play myself out or anything. I'm super satisfied. It's all right over here. Make sure you save your work. I want to keep a folder of this stuff pretty safe. I did not just delete it, I swear. There's still more. There are more. I guess I'll put myself in there as well. Get in there. Get it. Come on, man. Come on. Get in the folder. We could all make songs together. I don't know how you would collaborate with Family Tracker, but hey, we're going to figure it out. Uh, cool. Cool? Looks like it's all the stuff. Man, uh, well, you know, you decide who the winner is. Everyone who participated, thank you so much. I, I mean, definitely a win for everybody who, maybe it's their first time using Family Tracker. I gotta say, where the heck, everybody did something different, cool, with the same little tools. Hopefully I was able to help you out a little bit, um, like, in understanding the stuff. Um, if there are any questions, I mean, it seems like Teamad is a serious champ. Garyan's a serious champ. All these guys really have this sound. We don't have any plans for software restrictions. Um, but yeah, we don't have like uh, we don't have the vote. The winner is Nugget. This is an old school thing. Uh, I guess maybe yeah. I will, I will demonstrate. My nugget compositions, Nougat, which is the French nugget. Um, gosh, that is the that is the stream. That is a little help. Thank you so much for making it happen. Um, <laughs> you guys would know better than I. Uh, growing up with Jake and that, I mean, some of you are some of you are that old and cool, old old coolers. But that's that's the that's the show. Um, I assume we have more music shows today, um, so we'll kick it back on. Um, do let me know. I think we should do more of this type of thing. Maybe, like, have a practice session. And then, um, yeah. Maybe, maybe, like, I know if we had a vote, maybe it would be, like, everyone has to learn this tracker next week, but that could kind of be a pain in the butt. I really do like that FM tracker. So we gotta find a thing. Get involved on Discord. I'll throw up the link again. But, you know, it looks like that. Uh... And we'll hang out here in the Bard Council, is where we're just going to throw music together. Everybody wins. This is where everyone submitted their tracks. You probably already know about it. And I would love to see you guys here again. Let's do it uh, same time next week. Is that good for you? I don't know, I'm thinking like Tuesday, around 4 p.m., maybe 3 Pacific. Uh, you know? Follow, follow back. Get to know these dudes. Look look to the look to the usernames, any chip. Yeah, I think that's fair. As long as I mean I'll download the tracker and then we can play that, right? I think if everyone's comfortable. We also have another one hour competition I want to do on a weekly basis. Uh also Garion's idea where you just use any gear that you have. Um and that is over the weekends. If you do want to make a song in an hour over the weekend. But Tuesday around four is where I wanna do this. I think the tracker mode is good. Maybe we'll change tools in the future, but for the time being, let's see how our pool gets better together, working with trackers. Um, so Tracker Tuesday, huh? 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 It's not a cheesy name at all, right? Right? Anyway, I'm Angry Crow. I'll see you on the internet. Um, that was a little help. Thanks a lot.